So this is day three. Mountains in the background. We're off to a fishing village, I think. So I'll show you that once we get there. There's all little uh, houses at the moment, little villages. Very cute. Fishing village we're at, at the moment. It's very picturesque. Very calm as well. What to eat? I'll tell you which one I'm not going to eat. Is that one? Yeah, I've moved, so I'm guessing he's dead. The rest of them, they look pretty good, I've got to say. If you're into crab, there's a fight going on there, I think. Little shrimps. They're not so little. They're fair size actually. Oh, these poor things. Huh? Like lobsters to the slaughter. So we've come up this little lane here, and there's this what looks like a old castle type. How it's growing all over it now. Very cute. Not so warm today, probably only about 15 degrees, so we've got our, well, Sue's got our trousers on, I've got my shorts on still, but definitely jumpers on today. This beautiful building here, and another pretty one here, and then you've got that one, which is for sale. Not so pretty. I wonder how much it costs. This looks like some sort of boat graveyard where the, where the boats go to die. Quite weird, really. This is a cool building. I believe they built this to store grain and things. And it was designed to stop rats from uh, getting in. Yeah, what a cool little, what a cool little building. It's still here today. private place got its own little gated community that's the way I like it that's my sort of kind of living so we're staying here and uh, mountains all around we're going to go out for a meal tonight so it's, it's beautiful weather it's about 18 degrees right now so it's lovely weather to just go for a little stroll this is our little gate little driveway to get into the house <laughs> and yeah, you'll notice again, it's rusty. There's a few other little rusty things I might be able to show tonight because there's stuff everywhere like this. I don't know why they like it. Must be a form of metalwork down here, but it's rusted up. But gates are on, so keeps all the riffraff out. But what they forgot is they let a bit of riffraff in. Me. But see you in a bit. My wife, however, likes to wander. Wander on rocks and things near 
pools of water where she can fall to her death. She's crazy. No, look, look, look where she's wandering off now. She's going up a slippy step. Oh man, I can't control this woman. I'm just going to stay here where it's nice and safe. And there's concrete underneath me that I can't fall. This is the little town square we've walked to. It's about 8 o'clock in the evening now. It's still lovely and warm. It's a really cute little centre. This is just one of them. It goes on and on. There's lots more to look at. And, uh, yeah, lovely evening. Not many things concern me on this planet, except for those things. Those statue-like things that move around when they shouldn't do freaks me right out. But back to the streets, where to eat. Oh, that looks quite nice over there. Maybe over there, somewhere. So back to our quest for food. This town is called Lanes, by the way. Um, I find it crazy. You're not a statue, are you? Okay, you're, you're just advertising clothing. That's okay. I find this place crazy because it's 8 o'clock at night. If you're back home in Devon, things will be shutting down. It seems here they're only just starting to open up. And I love the fact you can just go all up these little lanes. Oh, we've chosen one. It's going to be this little place. Up here, on a little veranda, out of the overlooking the street. So, let's see what the food's like. He says he speaks a little English, and that's good enough for me, because I don't speak any Spanish. So, there's our waiter. I've always wanted to find a restaurant that sells giant tomatoes and anchovies and crispy little bags. A true gift for the most demanding palates. Thank you. That sounds um, very interesting. I'm going to palate some beer now. See how that tastes. And Sue, you'll never guess what, Coca-Cola. We've ordered those crispy little bags, but we ordered two of them so we can get one each. And we've also ordered some crispy coquettes, which looks lovely. Yamon. Yamon. It's filled with yamon, which I'm guessing is either ham or gammon or something like that. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a bit of a right, that. <laughs> Delicious. I had like a little, like a lemon curd sauce. It's the only way to describe it, but it, it was just amazing. So that was our starters. Can't wait for our main. But, uh, yeah, very nice meal. They put us to shame. I say us, I mean the cooks in England because I can't cook. These are prawn tortillas with a garlic... Oh, shrimp, sorry. Shrimp tortilla with a garlic mayonnaise sauce. Homemade sauce. So let's give it a go. Mm. That's really nice. Very tasty. Area full of fish, fresh fish, all these prawns and crabs and stuff. Sue's ordered, of course, meatballs with chips. But they do smell lovely. Enjoy, honey. We're going to have a little cheesecake to share because we're not greedy cakes. Well, I am, but Sue's not. We'll have a little bit of cheesecake. Looks delicious. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Oh, man. oh, that's that's good. That's good cheesecake. Yeah, it's like a toffee cheesecake. That is good. We've had our food, and now we're walking back. Look how busy it's got. The town comes alive at night. A nice vibe, nice feeling. So, um, yeah, it's busy. It wrong, I want to go home and go to bed though. I know, I'm, I'm old, too old for my, my time, but it's busy. So we're back. I'm going to make you a cup of tea and I'm going to have a espresso. We like to uh, live as the locals do, we like to rough it, a bit of espresso and tea, and then we're going to watch a bit of the Grand Tour on TV. Oh, yeah, we live like the locals. Just like the Spanish do. Watching a bit of Jeremy Clarkson right now.